What's up, you two? Ash here, back again with another one. So, disclaimer, disclaimer. I'm fasting right now. I'm almost done. I'm almost there. I'm so proud of myself, but I'm fasting right now, and I have little to no energy right now. So if I, if I sound crazy, that's why. So anyway, Ash here, I'm back again with another video, and I'm here to talk to you about something you may need to know okay before i get into this video make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe make sure you support share this comment all that good stuff okay i appreciate you i love you all right god wants you to release control okay especially if you're dealing with a narcissist now when we're dealing with people per se period not just a narcissist but people period right if you have the control issue like I did back then where, oh, no, I need it to happen this way. Or I, I need to find out this or I need to make sure that he knows this. I need to make sure she knows that. I need to make sure this is go this way. And that, oh, this is how I want it to go. My love, I'm here to tell you it is not about how you want things to go. It is not about what you want to know. It's not about any of that. What we feel to understand is. We are all spirits living the human experience. And God is our father. God ordained us to be here. And what God says goes. So if God is telling you to get up out of a situation, get up out of it. If God is telling you, move on and do what you got to do. Move on and do what you got to do. If God is telling you, forget these people or forget that person or forget that job, forget school or whatever the case may be, if God is telling you that, do it. And we have to release that control that we have over ourselves to be like, oh no, I need it to go this way. I want it to go that way. Love, I'm telling you, if you keep on having the sense of that control to where you feel like you got to do things your way, things are only going to be bad for you. You're going to create more blockages you're going to create more hurdles and you're simply going to make your journey much way harder. Why? Because sometimes you just need to let go. Let me tell you a little scenario that I heard from, I think it was either Dave Chappelle. Or, I think it was Dave Chappelle, yes. So he gave a scenario to where, um, uh, say you're on an island and you know, you're very hungry and you're very thirsty. You have some trees for fruit or whatever the case may be, but you want a fresh water. Right, so he said, uh, what people would do is uh, take some salt, dig it in a hole, and put it in a hole, right? And what we didn't know is that uh, I think he said monkeys, monkeys love salt, so the monkey would put, put its hand in that hole and try to get that salt out. You know, he has that salt, his hand is clenched on the salt, but he just can't get his hand out. But the monkey's not going to let go of that salt until. You know, it's been days or whatever the case may be. And now the monkey's uh, thirsty. And the monkey's thirsty. And what they're going to go do? Try to go find fresh water. So that trap that's been set, the, the salt trap, now not only does, you know, the people, they now know where fresh water is because they're going to follow that monkey to the fresh water. But I say all that to say, the monkey was the one that was controlling. The monkey's like, nah, trying to find different ways of how to get the salt out. Maybe they try to dig it out or maybe they try to do whatever the case they try to do. Pull it out as much as possible, not realizing it wasn't going to come out. They released control. They eventually let go of that salt. That's what you need to do. Let go of that salt. Let go of the salt. Because sometimes holding on to that salt is hindering you. Which is why the monkey got so thirsty after days and days and days of trying to get that salt out. It made him hungry. It made him thirsty. So what he gonna go do? Go find. But he but he couldn't find that water and he couldn't find that food by holding on to that salt. He had to release control. That's what you need to do. Release control. Sometimes we need to let go and let God because it's very important. If we allow God to lead us to where we need to be in life, it will be life would be, I'm not gonna say life is gonna be easy, but it'll be so much easier because if God is seeing that you are allowing him to lead you down the path that you're supposed to be, 
it's going to be like a piece of pie, piece of cake. Because you're being obedient. You're being obedient to the most high. So, I promise you, you let go of that salt, you release that control, life will be very much easier for you. Now, I'm not telling you life is going to be perfect because life isn't perfect. We go through things, we deal with things, and we move on. But we have to release that control because holding on to that control is doing nothing but hindering you. Hindering you from what you're really supposed to be doing. Hindering you from having a easy, a easy breezy type of life to where you're just going to live your life how it's supposed to. And it's going to create more issues, more turmoil. All because of what? Control. Is it worth it? No. So I advise you to just let go, let God, release that control, and you'll be good. I promise you. Trust me. I did it myself. I had to let go and let God myself because I'm not going to lie. I'm a very controlling person. Like, Plus, I'm a fixed sign. If you guys are into astrology, you know um, the fixed signs are the most literal, the most stubborn. The most stubborn. So my stubbornness mixed with my wanting to control shit, it was literally me. Like It caused me to stand in my own way. And it caused more hurdles. It caused more turmoil. It caused the the mountain to be even more harder to climb. All because I wanted to control things, control people, control whatever I thought is how things were supposed to go. Mm -mm. No love. You don't know better than the most high. So release that control and you'll be good. Okay, I promise you that. Thank y'all for watching my video. I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Please make sure you... Just give me some love. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, whatever the case may be. Just show me some love. Show anybody this video that may need it. I thank you so much for seeing this video and supporting me. And I appreciate you. I love you so much. I thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.